Hey guys, Dwayne England here on the water with buddy Mike Serdic, West Coast sales rep for Ray Marine. How you doing, man? Doing good, man. Good day on the water. It's a great day to get on the water. We got a fish in the box, yep. thanks to our buddy Matt. But hey, uh, got you out here because we're gonna walk through some different steps and things we can do with our Ray Marine electronics. Yeah. Kind of help you guys out when it comes to just dialing in certain things. You get a ton of phone calls, questions all the time. Yep. And so we're gonna we're gonna create a, a library of sorts, a small library of these tutorial, quick little insightful how tos. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna bring that to you right now. All right, guys. Another big question we talk about at Sonar, right, is whether you're running a, a structure scan, a, a, a real vision, down vision transducer, going into an Axiom or an Axiom Pro, also running a, a bigger one kilowatt transducer, chirp or non-chirp, and then how to run those together in conjunction so that you're really uh, understanding um, underwater the, the different bathymetrics as well as marking fish under the boat to the side of the boat. And, and here I've got a split screen. I've got a split screen with our high chirp frequency that's running our one kilowatt transducer. And then on the right side, I've got our RV100 transducer that's running the down vision frequency. So together, we're, we're painting a picture under the, under the boat that, that's, that's just massive, right? We're, we're seeing under the boat, we're seeing to the side of the boat. And so here, um, using our traditional cone, right? We're looking at about a 60 foot circle underneath the boat. On our side vision, we're 45 degrees out to the side, right? So uh, the, the, the center line right here, that's the fulcrum of the boat, and that's looking out to the port side, and that's looking out to the starboard side. This is a great trick for guys that are, you know, looking for bait, looking for fish, you know, um, different structure, trying to understand if the bottom's a, a gravelly sand or if it's a, a bigger rock style of, of bottom. And what's really neat is when we're trolling here and we see bait or fish marked off to the port or starboard side that we would have missed uh, running the traditional chirp sonar, right? So, for instance, we did mark something over here. If I saw something and I wanted to mark it, I could press and hold right there where I marked fish or bait and hit place a waypoint and I can add my waypoint and then resume. That waypoint right there is going to save out to my port side and on my charts. So if I was trolling and I wanted to go circle back through there, I could come up over here on my chart page and it would show me the waypoint I just placed right, right there behind the boat, right off to our starboard, starboard side. So kind of a cool feature. I, I, I use these two frequencies a lot. Um, you know, it, it, we're really, our, what we're talking about here is, is uh, our sense of uh, awareness underwater, right? What, what's going on underwater to our sides and, and really, you know, allowing us to see fish. If I spend a fair amount of time in an area and I'm not marking fish on my chirp or my side vision, I'm, I'm making a move. I'm making an adjustment and, and heading to a new spot. So, and you can do that with the same as with the, um, with the down vision frequency, right? I use this a lot for lingcod fishing, for rockfish, halibut. Um, it's just going to give you a little bit clearer representation of the bottom. You're going to see fish a little bit differently here. Here you're going to see a big cloud of bait or or, uh, or the fish mark, and they're going to show up as little dots on your structure scan and side vision, down vision frequency. So really cool to use those together. Um, with having an Axiom Pro char plotter, it has two transducer ports so that you can run both of them at the same time. And um, yeah, very cool, very cool feature.